tonight, it's an absolute pleasure to just talk about celebration. The, the challenges that we're with uh, each of the entrepreneurs, we work with you on those every single day as business advisors and investment officers. But tonight is just about celebration, and we are going to do that in a phenomenal way. And I'm so, so pleased that we have more than 400 entrepreneurs here tonight representing the 41,000 entrepreneurs that we have worked with in the past 10 years. So I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled that you are here. I also uh, tonight have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing our guest of honor, uh, the First Lady Jeanette Kagame. Um, she has been a committed advocate for those who are often overlooked, for young people, for vulnerable people, for women. And that also is so much of the spirit also that we try to embody at Inhomoko to really make sure that we are inclusive of all kinds of entrepreneurs, that we can make sure that they are brought into the Inhomoko family and that everybody has the opportunity and the chance to thrive. Um, and, and you are a role model to us in that, in the way that you are so inclusive of vulnerable people and communities, and that you particularly celebrate the ideas of youth in development. Um, the First Lady has encouraged all of us to invest in, in those of us who are, who are too often overlooked in our communities. And certainly, in Homoko would not have been able to grow to reach uh, Kenya and Ethiopia if we hadn't also had the strong base of support of, of Rwanda. This has been a place for us to learn, to grow, to iterate, to test, to challenge, to fail, to get up again, to try again. Um, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful place for us to uh, really embrace the spirit of development that is in every community, in every culture, all across Rwanda. Um, so I am deeply honored that the First Lady is our guest of honor tonight. And uh, sharing some opening remarks with us, and importantly, cheering on our DJs as well. So please join me in welcoming our most distinguished guest of honor, Her Excellency Jeanette Kagame. Honorable ministers and the senior government officials present, Mrs. Lauren Powell Jobs, chair of uh, Amazon Collective, board members, founders and staff of uh, Ingomoko, our dear entrepreneurs and uh, invited guests, good evening. What a day, what an invite. But before I let you in on my affection for Inhomoko, I must divulge that I was in fact invited to serve as uh, this event's DJ. Thank you, Ingomoko, for seeing in me a potential that painfully take, uh, I mean, painfully few have seen before. Although it did take you a 10 years anniversary to finally acknowledge this talent of mine. It's better late than never. So, but despite the temptation to be uh, first who I am by uh, the afternoon, I mean by the day and uh, the DJ by the evening. In a famous lounge of our capital Kigali, I had to politely but uh, reluctantly decline this proposition and opt to share a few words instead of, instead for I'm truly happy to be here. <laughs> Dear friends, among us are pioneers of a new age entrepreneurship in Rwanda and the legends of international entrepreneurial success. And the accomplishments of those you see here are undeniably great beyond their years, and this is what we are here to discuss. Friends, performance is key to successful entrepreneurship. We have all heard the attested accounts of world-renowned entrepreneurs who started their businesses on a tiny investment determination, and an ability to only sleep a couple of hours a night. Granted, but I will not encourage you to emulate the latter, lest any of your mothers be watching. 
But what these tales of devotion to one's inter enterprise tell us is that in order to be successful, a business might provide added value. And for that, you, the entrepreneur, must also show your own. At times, you will need to prove how much harder you are willing to work, adding hours of labor to your daily roster. Other times, you pro your product of s or, ser or service should testify to how much wider you are willing to stretch your, man um, your mind to be receptive of every bit of uh, information that could enrich your ideas and practices. And every time, you will need to show unique courage and confidence in your vision beyond what is traditionally taught in school to drive the success you desire. I believe you all have added value and clearly so does our dear Ingomoko. Ingomoko in our native Kenya Rwanda translates to the origin. And my understanding is that uh, it's a play on the seed assistance that Ingomoko has been providing for 10 years in forms of capital, mentorship and networking opportunities for micro, small and medium sized businesses and uh, speaking to which happiest 10th anniversary in Momoko. <laughs> dear dear Momoko family, it must be said, the wonderful work you have put in is truly a gift to us all. And judging from our, your model's expo exportation to Kenya and Ethiopia, you are, the right tr you are on the right track to a global presence. For that, we salute you. You've shown inspiring, deeply humane inclusiveness in your service provision and embodied the Rwandan effort to overcome poverty and protect the dignity of not only our citizens, but also those who have sought refuge in Rwanda. You do your part daily in contribution to our national strategy for, for transformation to achieve the high standards of living while we all deserve. You have, for that, you have earned your accolades. You may already know this, dear friends, but small to medium-sized business represent 80% of our labor force and 90% of our private sector. So next time you hear a little spicy discourse pointing to the disparity between corporate taxes and the much smaller proportionate taxing of small and micro businesses, Remember this fine, chilled afternoon at Chillax Lounge. <laughs> the difference in taxation, my dear friends, is what we call equity. It's the humane system that we promised as we encourage countless small businesses, entrepreneurs, from Mudugudu boutique owners to motorcycle drivers to make the shift from uh, informal to formal to help support our economy and prosper both themselves and our nation. And to every entrepreneur that has chosen to accompany us on uh, this uh, formidable journey of progress, your transition is welcome and admirable, and you have my sincere encouragement. Dear Ngumoko, we have not forgotten that we are here to celebrate you. Specifically today, may your model become a household name across Africa as you work towards supporting more businesses to thrive. Valued friends, I believe you understand a core aspect of our President's pledge and call of uh, thinking big, something we must always remember. Thinking big is not always about uh, being big, which I hope small and uh, medium businesses understand. Thinking big is about the greatness of your ideas. The scale, the scale of the potential impact and the highest of standards that you, you are willing to perpetually demand of yourselves. Dieng Homoko, here, here is to wishing you once again a wonderful 10th anniversary and many more successful years to come. And here is yet more celebration and joy. I thank you for your kind attention and may the battle of uh, the D-Days begin.